Hey guys, Chris Schreiber here. Today I'm bringing you an overview of the brand new Oxy2 from Oxy Heli Innovations. This video is going to cover some features that the Oxy2 is equipped with, the electronics I used, and some of my flying setup. So let's dive right in and take a closer look. Okay guys, let's go over some features of the new Oxy2. This thing comes fully loaded, ready to go with features. It's got CNC, um, aluminum uh, main block, grips, swash plate, full tail section. You have aluminum tail servo mounts. So some things you're going to want uh, to, to buy for this build is you're definitely want to order or pick up a 1.3 millimeter driver. This is for all the swash balls. You're also going to want some green thread locker to glue the pinion to the motor shaft. Blue lock tight, of course. And the rest of the kit builds with this, your standard 1.5 millimeter wrench. So, some features I like about the Oxy 2. Um, very similar to the Oxy 3, it just sized down a bit. Um, oval tail boom again. No need for boom supports, which is awesome. It's belt driven. So, it's a 100 millimeter belted micro helicopter with a tail belt. No, no need to worry about torque tubes stripping out, anything like that. The kit comes equipped with 30 millimeter or 41 millimeter tail blades, depending on your flying setup. You're gonna to wanna to use a 41 millimeter if you're doing lower head speeds, and if you're flying higher head speeds, um, 38 millimeter. So let's pop the canopy off here. Just like the Axi 3 series, you have a nice fiberglass canopy painted by a Canamod. Um, not as shiny as the Axi 3s, they only did one coat of clear coat on this to keep the weight down for you. Just like we've seen on the Axi 3, tons of room on the front battery tray. This will take anything from 800 milliamp to 1000 milliamp uh, 3S packs. You've got your plastic boom block, your plastic battery tray. There is no one way, it's just a direct drive off the motor to the main drive gear to the, the, um, the pulley for the tail belt. Now something really cool about this Oxy 2 is we've all crashed our Oxy 3s. When you crash it, you gotta take off the skids. You got that carbon fiber piece, you have to unscrew off the skids. And a lot of people mounted their receivers or their fly barless satellites to it. So if and when you crash an Oxy 2, you simply undo these two 1.5 millimeter screws. This kit comes right off. It's keyed, and inside here, the bottom plate, there's notches. So you go grab, say you broke the right skid. You take your white right skid out of the pack, slide this right in, put the helicopter on a level surface, come back over here, and boom, you're done. You no need to take the bottom plate off, especially if you have your RX satellites or you know whatever mounted to the bottom. Build went really easy, it took me a couple hours. Builds just like an Oxy 3. Luca did an excellent job on a digital manual. I highly recommend going to oxyheli.com, download it, check it out if you're thinking about buying this model. Um, this little guy swings 100 mil, 190 millimeter plastic fiber blades. Um, this will come eventually with a stretch kit down the road, stretching it to a 210, so kind of like a big micro. So that is, oh, and then one more thing. Carbon fiber frame, this thing is, I mean, I cannot bend this, rock solid. You got the carbon fiber frames, you have your aluminum bearing blocks. So that is your basic airframe, follow suit to the Oxy 3. So let's kind of jump in and cover the electronics I use for this build. Okay guys, now let's go over the electronics I'm using in this build. I'm flying this with my Mikado V-Control radio, and believe it or not, a full-size Neo fly system mounted on the bottom. Um, I know a lot of guys are flying like the mini U-Brains and the micro U-Brains and icons up here, but you can fly this with a full-size fly system if you can fit it, get it to fit down there. So for the battery, I'm flying this with Pulse 860 3S, uh, 35C milli, milliamp packs. And then for servos, I'm using the MKS DS450s on Cyclic and the MKS DS480 for tail control. Governing and speed control on this is the tail and castle um, 25, which has been really popular for this. I have this governed at bank 1 at 4,000, bank 2 at 4,500, and bank 3 at 5,200 with 11 tooth pinion. And I've got the Lynx EOX 1611 5,500 KV motor. Tons of power for this little guy. Um, all up flying weight, 12.3 ounces ready to fly. So tons of power. Not too you know heavy for a little micro helicopter, and you can't tell. It's spinning 190 millimeter blades, and when this thing's flying 5200, this thing just rips. Okay, guys, 
So for electronic settings and fly bar list settings, um, like I said, I am using the internal governor in the castle, 4,000, 4,500, and 5,200 for my head speeds. Now as far as fly bar list settings, it's going to be different for every fly bar list system, every helicopter, depending on what servos you use, um, what style you like flying with. But what I chose on the V-Bar Neo is I chose a 450 size wizard. You don't have anything smaller than a 450 in a Neo setup wizard. So I set it up uh, for a 450, and basically I just had to lower the gains down. So the head gain I lowered by 20, tail gains I think I'm flying at 35 on all the tail gains. You can find all my settings in the description of the video below. Um, I like flying all my rates at 120, and for this I bumped up the Expo to 20%, just because it's a smaller helicopter, it's extra you know twitchy and quick. Um, but I've been having a blast with it. It's it's. You know, it's really definitely changed my thoughts around about micro helicopters. I think it's going to be a long-lasting front yard beater when I can't make it to the field. Just want to go outside, have fun, put something up for the kids. Um, so yeah, check it out, oxyheli.com. And then here we go, show you a little flying video. Oh my God. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button below. If you want to see the full build of this, you can go to my website, www.3dandscalerchelicopters.com. You'll, you'll see the full build album and review there. Also, you can go to my Facebook page, 3D and Scale RC Helicopters. So guys, until next time, fly safe.